19 Summer Safety Tips for Your Dogs If you have a dog, I'm sure you can relate to their desire to be outside as much as possible in the summer. Pups love the sun as much as we do. However, as dog owners, there are some important things we need to be aware of when it comes to keeping our furry family members safe, happy, and healthy in the summer. So that's why today I'm sharing 19 summer health care tips for dogs you'll want to take note of to ensure your pup stays healthy this season and well beyond. Number one, provide plenty to drink. Dehydration is particularly dangerous in older dogs with age-related conditions such as kidney disease, liver disease, or diabetes. When the kidneys struggle to concentrate the urine, they also struggle to retain water. So your pet could quickly become dehydrated, particularly if he's panting while active. Make sure your dog has a clean, cool supply of water available throughout the day. Number two, play water games. Stay cool together with a squirty water bottle or a hose, and you'll both have fun. Plus, your dog will drink extra water, helping to avoid dehydration. If it's too hot even to play and your dog is really struggling to cool down, Wet towels draped over their head and back can help to alleviate any discomfort or distress. Number three, keep bugs away safely. In the areas where your pets play, it's better to keep the grass cut short to reduce the presence of ticks and other insects. Also keep an eye out for fertilizer warnings on neighbors' lawns when walking your dog. Talk to your veterinarian about the best ways to protect your pet from fleas, ticks, and other insects that are more prevalent during the summer months. Number four, heat stroke. Heat stroke occurs when your dog's body temperature rises dangerously high. It is most common when dogs are left in a car for too long or when they exercise in the heat. Never leave your dog in the car in hot weather and always remember that a cracked window is not enough to cool a car. Your dog always needs access to shade outside. Muzzling interferes with the dog's ability to cool itself by panting and should be avoided. Number five, shield delicate skin. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in dogs and the second most common in cats. Even though fur provides some protection from the sun, you should apply a pet sunblock every three to four hours to the least hair-covered spots. For example, bellies on dogs, especially ones who like to lie on their backs, and ears and around the eyes on cats, which are also areas where malignant tumors are likely to show up. There's no need to apply sunscreen directly on the fur. Number six, keep the coats long. While it may seem logical to cut your pet's coat short, resist the urge. If hair, even long hair, is brushed and not matted, it provides better circulation and helps regulate body temperature, says Renee Carlson, DBM, president of the American Veterinary Medical Association. Number seven, give plenty of exercise. It is important to remember that exercising your dog is still very important. Did you know that swimming is one of the best forms of exercise you can give your dog? Not only do they get exercise, but they keep cool while doing it. Number eight, keep your microchip details up to date. Summer travel can mean lots of moving around, and it's possible for older pets, particularly those with sight problems, to become a little disoriented. Make sure your pet is microchipped before you head off, and check that your contact details are up to date. Number nine, be prepared for shade. All dogs will appreciate shade, but older dogs in particular will want to rest in a cool spot, away from the frolics of the family. So if you're out and about on a sunny day, carry a large umbrella or a portable pop-up shade tent. If your pet is really struggling to cool down, wet towels draped over their head and back can help alleviate any discomfort or distress. Number 10, dispose of barbecue leftovers. Bones and corn on the cob husks are both common causes of obstruction in dogs' throats and digestive systems. Keep pre-cooked food well out of reach and avoid feeding your pet the barbecue leftovers, however tempting they might find them. Number 11, burned foot pads. Sidewalks, patios, street, sand, and other surfaces can burn your dog's foot pads. Walk your dog in the morning and at night when outdoor surfaces are the coolest. Press your hand onto the surface for 30 seconds to test them before allowing your dog to walk on them. If it is painful for you, it will be painful for your dog. Number 12, fireworks. Some fireworks look like sticks, which makes your dog think they're a toy. The loud noises and sudden flash of fireworks can disorient and startle your dog, causing it to run wildly. If you cannot avoid being around fireworks, then please keep your dog on a very short leash. 13, walk with caution. Try not to walk your dog during the day's highest heat and humidity, which is usually between one and 4 p.m. This is especially important for dogs with short snouts, such as bulldogs, who can't pant as efficiently in humid weather due to their narrowed nostrils and windpipes. 
Number 14, keep it cool indoors. Turn on the AC in your home, especially if you'll be out of the house for several hours. If it's too warm for you, it's too warm for your pet. Number 15, protect heart health. Older dogs are more vulnerable to heart disease and respiratory problems, and overheating can make it difficult to breathe. Seek your vet's advice if your pet is finding it harder to breathe than usual. 16, chemicals in the water. Rinse your dog with fresh water after swimming in a pool, and do not let it drink more than a small amount of pool water. Standing water, such as puddles, can also be dangerous for dogs to drink due to the presence of antifreeze or other chemicals. Provide your dog with fresh water to drink whenever possible. 17. Seasonal Allergies Fleas, mold, flowers, and other potential allergens are common during the summer. Keep your dog away from the allergy triggers when possible, especially if you know that it has a particular allergy. Ask your veterinarian about whether your pet would benefit from a canine antihistamine or other medication. Number 18, beware of currents and riptides. If a dog gets in trouble in one of these in the ocean, whether while swimming or fetching a ball, she can be swept out to sea in minutes. The same goes for rivers. You need to watch out for currents, even if they're not readily visible, as your dog can be easily carried downstream. Number 19, limit the lilies. Day lilies in Asiatic, Easter or stargazer lilies, and their pollen can cause acute kidney failure in cats. Ingestion of as little as two to three leaves can be fatal, so remove these plants from your yard if you let your cat or dog out. 